Hey, what's up guys? Today I am going to show you really really interesting 3D printer from Chinese company H3D. And basically as you can see I have the module K200 which provides very useful features at affordable price. So basically today I am going to show you how you can use this 3D machine but also what recommendations I can say, how to use it, how to level the bed and start printing. So let's begin. Before I start with machine itself, I'd like to say a few words what you will get besides the machine itself. Normally you will receive this machine which you need to assemble, but also you are going to receive two rolls of filament one in blue color and one in red maybe you will receive some other colors but it's really cool and useful because you will receive two rolls of the filament which is great also you will receive many accessories and tools which are used for for assemble of the machine itself but still you will receive many spare parts so for time being you don't need to buy any spare parts because you will receive several nozzles like this and screws nuts and tools but th this is not all because you are going to receive memory card some other tools as you can see usb cable and of course you are going to receive user manual and uh, you have some other user manuals included on the memory card and on their official youtube channel there are several videos which are telling you how to assemble the machine how to start using and basically you don't need to worry because they have prepared everything you need to know to start printing with their K200 printer. So basically when we speak about build quality and design and also construction of the machine itself, I can freely say this is Delta 3D printer because of construction itself. When we think about assembling this device or machine you need to know that this 3d printer comes in all parts disassembled so basically you need to assemble all parts by yourself so basically when you compare this 3d printer k200 with other average machine you will need approximately one one and a half hours more for assembling but still it is not too much for one 3d printer machine so basically nothing wrong here also the build quality is amazing because all parts of the machine are made from aluminium so basically all 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 parts all important parts are made from metal or aluminium so in that way the machine is not too heavy but at the same time it is it provides good build quality so you don't need to worry about the build quality when we speak about the screen you can freely see that this machine does not have touch screen like many other printers but still it is not important because you can freely go to menu with this potentiometer and adjust every second settings you need so basically you can see on the front page it clearly says the current temperature for hotbed and nozzle also it says some other information about the device by clicking the potentiometer we enter the menu and here 
you can see we can adjust many different settings including uh, start printing from SD card so basically if we go for example here we can move access disable steppers uh, preheat for pillar or ABS also we can cool down the temperatures to zero uh, when we go back we uh, have here option for auto leveling the bed which will show you later how to do that over there in control we can adjust temperature motion and filament and the save memory after that we can adjust uh, we can start printing just by clicking on which file you want to start for printing and as you can see it's quite easy to use device with this potentiometer actually it has no difference comparing with touch screen uh, machines and uh, mostly uh, 3d printers have the SD card slot somewhere behind but this machine has on the left side of the touch screen slot for the memory card and as you can see on the left side of the machine is slot for mem uh, memory card and just you insert in the machine and you can start easily printing from your memory card Before I go forward, I'd like to say a few words about filament and power supply. You probably saw already that this device does not come with filament holder. But don't worry because you can still print it with your machine and you don't need to create filament holder because there already someone has created one and you can download it for free from Thinkiverse. I will include the link in video description. And the other thing, as you can see, uh, this machine comes with power supply, which is not inside the case because this printer, as you can see, does not have enough space for built-in power supply. Still, no problem because some other machines also comes with a uh, power supply which is outside not in the case and i will also include the link to of think evers because you can print the power supply holder and you can easily put the power supply here on the right side of the machine so basically it's little different than average 3d printer but still nothing imaginary also you need to know that this printer has no load or unload filament function and you had to by hand load it inside so basically here we have the extruder and you basically you need to by hand push filament in to the here to the head and then you need to preheat the head so the basically filament goes out and when the filament goes out you are done this machine comes with feature auto level bed which is very useful and if you want to avoid these scratches like i have done to my bed you need to level your bed to precisely start printing and for this purpose they have prepared this sensor basically this is the sensor and all you have to do is connect to the nozzle like this okay so basically you need to connect it like this stick it inside it's okay 
that's it. So basically when you stick it like this, you need to go to the menu. And then you need to just moment, go to auto level bed and then we need to select measure Z position and then as you can see the printer will start something to measure these Z positions and we need to wait several minutes. You will see what the printer will be doing. He will touch the bed in 10 of 20 positions to get some information about the nozzle. Okay. Okay, the first step is done. Now we need to go to the second step to finish auto leveling. Basically, again, we need to go to auto leveling bed. Then we need to select prepare leveling. And then we need to select begin leveling. Again, printer will do something, as you can see. Okay. And as you can see, uh, the procedure is very similar to the first step. Now again, approximately one minute and a half, we need to wait that this procedure is done. Okay, and we have now the final step when the, this procedure from second step is done. All you have to do now is go to menu, auto leveling bed, then prepare uh, leveling. And now you can see it says new Z offset is dead and this uh, number we need to type for Z offset. So we go to the offset, click and select 20. No. Sometimes it's really, really hard to select. Okay, let's stay. So basically you need to select the same number for Z offset and don't forget to click store or save. And that's it. After that, auto leveling procedure is done and you are going to go to for printing. If something happens, you can always adjust uh, here like Z plus or Z minus or you can here type any other information for leveling and that's it about auto leveling for K200T printed. So about printing 3D quality you can see how good the printing quality you can expect with this machine so basically you can expect amazing printing quality and you don't need to worry all you have to do is do good leveling the bed and type good parameters for printing and as a result you can expect great printing quality with 
K200 printer. As you can see, you can do anything you want from uh, screws like this, something cool, something funny. Overall, this machine is for professionals, but for also for any average user. Overall, you can expect good printing quality, like this module which I have printed. As conclusion, I can say that H3D K200 3D printer is great choice if you love 3D printers and everything about 3D printer technology. If you're a huge fan, then for sure you need to consider this machine because it offers good build quality, great building parts, but mostly it provides good printing quality and overall the price is affordable for this kind of machine if you have any questions or comments please comment thank you bye